My name is Katie Yoder, and this is my TED Talk. I spent my summer enrolled in the class Inter LNS 210, the internship course held at UW Madison. I've really learned a lot from this course. It's made me think a lot deeper about some of the things that I've learned, and it's made me reflect on a lot of the experiences that I've had. And I really think that I've been able to learn things about my internship and about myself that I'm going to be able to carry with me on my journey to finding a real career. As far as what I've actually done this summer, I have been a retail intern for Delaware North Companies, who is affiliated and associated with the Minnesota Twins, located at Target Field here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I've really enjoyed my internship. It's been really great. So as contrary as that may seem to some of the things I'm about to talk about for my TED Talk, I really have had a good time this summer. I've had a, met a lot of great people and enjoyed a lot of my time here. For my TED Talk, I would like to talk about tips for young interns. I have three tips for people like myself who start out young and may need a little bit of a booster and a little bit of a helper out when dealing with people that may not respect you because of your age. So I'm going to talk about three things today. The first is management styles. Everyone is different, everyone manages different, and everyone needs to be managed differently. Second, I'd like to talk about why I'm so eager. Why am I eager? I'm not really sure, but that's part of it. That's part of what figuring out why you're so eager, that's part of why it's important. And last but not least, I'd like to talk about decision making. It made a big difference in my summer, so I think it could make a difference in other people's, so I think it's something to consider and listen to. All right, first, management styles. Everyone on this earth is different. Kind of hard to believe, but they really are. Everyone handles things differently. Everyone takes criticism and feedback differently. With that being said, I've had a lot of opportunities to be on multiple angles of this spectrum. I've got to be the criticizer and the criticized, and I've gotten to be the manager and, and the associate. So that's been a really good experience for me this summer because I'm now able to look at people and realize that not everyone can be handled the same. Not everyone can be given blunt and very unemotional direction. Not everyone can be babied and kind of walked softly through things. Everyone responds differently and everyone needs different characteristics in order to adhere to their needs in order to get what they need to be done in a successful workplace. The reason that I'm going to talk about firms assess young interns potential with this topic, management styles, is because this reading talked a lot about how Big companies want their interns to come back. They're essentially just training them for their real job in a couple of years. They 50% of whatever come back for full-time hires. The reason that I don't necessarily believe that is because some of the management styles that I've endured this summer don't make me feel welcome to come back. They don't make me feel like I'm going to be missed when I'm gone. They make me feel like I am just another intern doing just a few more jobs in this big old stadium. So I just thought it was interesting because not only do I don't think they want me to come back, but I don't necessarily know if I want to come back. So maybe I just don't fit the statistic, but I thought this reading was interesting in terms of managing styles because you probably want people to come back. And so if you do, you probably manage differently. All right, second, I'd like to talk about why I am so eager. Wish I could tell you the answer to that, but I can't. Why am I so eager? Why do I want to fold t-shirts for hours? Why do I want to push a cart around a stadium? Why do I want to walk loops and up and down escalators and stairs all day? I'm not really sure. Is it because I want to impress my boss? Is it because I feel like I have to? Is it because I think it's going to lead to all the good opportunities that I actually do have? I'm not sure. I wanted to talk about this because what actually made me consider why I'm so eager is the reading opportunity costs, the true price of internships. I disagreed with 75% of what this article said. It was making me actually quite angry until I got to one section. It talked about kind of the idea that big companies manipulate people, particularly interns, to do the kind of crappy work that nobody wants to do. And the reason that they are able to manipulate them is because interns are so eager. They just want experience. They want opportunities. They want to work in these big companies and do these great things for people. But when they really look at it, why are they doing these things? Why are they folding t-shirts? That's not an opportunity. It's not an experience. That's not something you're going to hold with you forever. So why am I so eager to do these things? Do I want to be manipulated? Do I want to be used? Or am I really just making my baby steps towards those great experiences that I actually am going to have? 
something to think about. Last but not least, decision making. I wish I would have thought about this a whole long time ago. I was the one complaining all summer. Why does everyone dislike me because I'm 19? Why did I feel so young? Why am I constantly feeling belittled? Why does nobody want to ask me questions? Why does nobody want me to give them answers? But the real thing is, is I found out that my decision making was part of the problem. Every answer to my question, or every answer to questions asked to me were, mm, I'm not sure, let me ask someone. Huh, I'll think about that. Oh, just, I'll ask my boss, just one second. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about that one. So why would people ask me questions and put their trust in me, the 19-year-old intern, when everything that I answer is maybe, or I don't know, or let me ask someone else? They could just ask someone else. So they did. Nobody wanted to ask me questions because I didn't have answers. So that's where I think it's really important to kind of try to find your own faults. And I think the decision making that I kind of moved towards the summer after I realized this made a difference in how people respected me and the kind of jobs that I was able to do and the things that I was able to do for others because they trusted me because I had answers. I wanted to tie this to Ethics 101 for Interns because this one really talked about and had a specific section about how we shouldn't judge people because of their age, their gender, their religious affiliation, whatever else. Because that's not fair. You shouldn't judge people. You shouldn't belittle people for things that they may not be able to control. But with that being said, you got to stand up for yourself too. You got to make a difference yourself. You got to find faults in yourself. And I think the decision making really ended up making me be able to have the opportunities I wanted to this summer in terms of management because I had answers, because I wanted to do these things. So with that being said, my TED Talk included management styles eager, and decisions. I really encourage people to try to find a management style that is going to be able to adhere to everyone. I think it's really important to understand that everyone's different. Not everyone's going to handle things the same. And with that being said, I think everyone needs to be tailored to. Everyone needs to be adhered to. And in order to do that, you need to know them on a personal level, make them feel welcome, make them feel important. Secondly, I advise people to try to find out why they're so eager. What's your purpose? What are you looking to get done? Get out of everything that you do. Why do you do it? Why are you so eager? I asked you that question, and I'll try, keep trying to figure out the answer for me. Last but not least, be confident in decision making. Even if you're young, even if you're inexperienced, if you are confident in the things that you do, people are going to trust you. They're going to follow you. They're going to want someone that's confident in what they're doing, what they're saying, and what they're putting forward. So those are my three, my three tips for young interns. I really enjoyed my summer. I really enjoyed my experience here at Target Field with Minnesota Twins and Delaware North. I've met a lot of great people, had a lot of great experiences that I really think I'm going to hold on to forever and take some things with me. I've enjoyed this course. It's really made me reflect about a lot of the things that I don't think I would have otherwise. So I really wanted to thank everyone that was involved. I hope you enjoyed this TED Talk, and I hope you enjoyed reading my journey throughout the summer. And I look forward to doing it again next semester for my second internship. Thanks again.